Hi guys, as you can see, tonight's vlog, I've come to Lytham again and the weather is really, 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 really strange. We've got lots of high clouds, um, but the water itself, as you can see in the distance there, I know I've just come in the water, but it's like a pond and um, this boat here is my subject. And what I'm going to do is, you just see in front of me now, um, just, just these lovely bits of grass that are making for a wonderful foreground interest. So what I'm going to do is, in a second, um, it's an, another mishmash vlog tonight because when I arrived, got the drone up, started to do some lovely B-roll and just down there one of the tractors, um, these lovely tractors, they're never in the water. When I came here tonight, um, I stood here in the mud, stuck in the mud and this tractor, what, he just left it and parked up right in the middle of the water. So I dropped all the gear, put all the gear back in the bag and ran off there. Um, I tried to get a few pictures of the tractors. Now, what I'll do tonight is I'm just going to simply put all the images at the end and um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, this is going to be the first shot. I'm going to get the camera set up. I think I'm going to go for a, um, a landscape shot at the moment and just try and capture some of this mood above this boat and see how we get on. Hi guys, so this is what we're looking at now is this is a shot I'm gonna go for. So on the right hand side you've got this big this big clump of grass here, you've got the boat in the distance there, and if I just turn the exposure down a little tiny bit, you can just see the mood above the clouds. You can I'm just capturing this um just the reflection of the mast in the water and that looks really nice. So at the moment the settings are F11, um, ISO 64 and I've got a 0.6 soft edge grad and I've also got a three stop filter which is um, it's just really getting rid of all these these tiny ripples but um, it look, they look really nice the images so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few landscape just trying to really tune the images um, and what I might do is there's a little boat there I think it's a boat or a boy or something not too sure in fact it's another mound of grass I think I'll just remove that in post I think but we'll see I'm going to take a few shots now and just see how we get on. Hi guys, as you can see the tide's going out fairly fast at the moment so what I've done is I've simply just moved forward now. I've moved forward about another 10 foot just to get the, we had those grasses just round here so I've just moved forward in front of those now just to kind of kind of balance the picture up as well and just see if it looks any different but for me I quite like this. I'm going to get remove that clump of grass, um, move some of the, the boys in the distance um, I'll just turn the exposure down again and you can see it's got this lovely band of cloud above that boat and um, yeah same settings again um, F11 ISO 64 um, and about probably about half a second I think and it's just just really really simple photography and um, yeah I'm loving this to be fair it's really good I'm really enjoying it so guys as you can see, what I'm doing at the moment, I'm actually chasing the tide out. Um, it's a little bit boggy, but with wellies on, you're alright. Mally's been down here before and he got stuck, but um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's a little bit boggy, but it's just trying to get a different composition, basically. I'm trying to get, make sure, not too sure if you can see there or not, but the actual mast itself, as a lot of birds go past there, they look really nice, to be honest. Um, I'm trying to get the reflection of the mast in the foreground so it's kind of reflective and it's looking really interesting to be honest. Same settings. All I'm going to do is, like I said before, I'm going to post all the images at the end. Just make sure that I've not clipped the end. Kind of uh, lost the end of the mast there. 
not due to, um, it's just because that's where the waves are. If you can see where these slight little ripples are coming in, it's kind of losing the reflection of the mast. Um, so I'll take another shot. Same settings, F11, ISO 64, and I'm going for a three second exposure. So as you can see, I've moved forward again, um, and I'm just I'm just trying to find different compositions. I've got some. I think the sun's going to come out in a minute. The sun's just going to poke through the clouds. Not even I've lost track of time or what time it is, but um, you just see the colours on the side of the boat and over towards Southport. There's like a gap. You can just see where the colours are hitting the tops of the sky now. It looks lovely to be honest. I've just done a, um, a 25 second exposure there. I'm not too sure if that's any good. Um, but, like I say, I keep saying, and I'm going to say again, I shall post all the images at the end. Um, but yeah, I just like how these little tufts of grass, can you just see them down there? I think they just add a little bit. And there's that big mound of grass over there, that's where the, where this marsh grass is kind of growing through. Um, but, no, again, it's like a pond. I'm not too sure if all the lads down there, there's, there's so many people down there at the shipwreck, I decided to come up this end and I think I've... Uh, Got the better deal to be fair. I think there's about 10 or 30 down there. Um, and it's just wonderful. I'll wait for a little bit and just see if there's any colour to go over them bolts over there. Um, but if not, I'm going to walk back to the car. Um, but no, it's been a lovely evening. As you can see, the water has just recessed that little bit. so. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it 10 or 15 minutes and then probably try and get out over there if possible. Hi guys, as you can see I'm back at the car now. I decided to park the car right next to a busy road so I've done about five takes of this now and someone's just walked past it. So, uh, yeah, it's one of the busiest places I've parked. I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. I'm sorry again, it's a mishmash but um, the tractor, it threw me. Um, basically I've been here about a million times and I've never seen a tractor in the water so I kind of dropped everything what I was doing, ran and got the shots, then tried to progress and did the vlog afterwards. So what I'm going to do in a second is I'm going to post all the images. Um, I really hope you enjoy them. There's some crackers, I think. I think. I've not seen them yet, but I think there is. Um, very little editing will be done as the car goes past again. Um, so yeah, here are the images, and until next time, take care.